Three, two, one. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Conway Mayor Bart Casbury. I'm here today with County Judge Jim Baker and Fauntner County Sheriff Tim Riles. In keeping with our uh, team approach on this, we want to thank you all together. I'm going to cover some of the things from the city of Conway, and then these two gentlemen will uh, discuss some of theirs. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to the people of Conway. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for going out and helping Sandbag and helping your neighbors. Conway is just a tremendous community, and, and I want you to know that, that you are truly, truly appreciated. Um, I would like to thank Stobie's, and, uh, David and Patty Stobog, Marco's Pizza, Our Best Bank, Conway Regional, Centennial Bank, and First Security Bank. Uh, I would also like to thank some of our Conway businesses, Rain for Rent, Rogers Group, and of course Conway Corporation, and city employees and departments. Mike Winter and the Conway Fire Department, Finley Benson, the Conway Street Department, Bobby Kelly, our Director of Communications, Joe Hopper and the Sanitation Department, Steve Ibbotson and the Parks Department, Jack Bell and the Airport Employees, Major Laura Taylor and the Conway Police Department, Aaron Knight and the IT Department, and then uh, one individual that anytime we looked up at two or three o'clock in the morning, he was always there in the background, never saying anything, but you could tell he was, his mind was working and then he would come up and make a suggestion to us. And that individual who we've not spoken a lot about but deserves a tremendous amount of thanks is Mr. Twig Satterfield. Thank you, Conway, and I'll hand it off to Judge Baker. I want to thank first our Faulkner County Sheriff, Tim Raw. Tim's here with us today, but if there's a man present that put more hours in than Tim Rawl did on trying to keep some structure in this, I haven't met him. And Tim, I, I mean that at the bottom of my heart that you, you, you were really on the job and trying to, for safety purposes of all people. Yes, Thank you, Judge. I'm gonna read some of mine right now. Jeffrey's sand, we don't think much about it. Folks, they stayed up and all around, for us to get sand over the weekend and all, and just kept people, their employees there to service the county. Faulkner County Road Department, Beaver Fort Fire Department, and and the city of Conway, as many times, I, I saw as many as 400 employees any given day working in those areas. Mayflower Fire Chief, I, I think somebody sure needs to give him a medal. His name is Chief Hutchison and all, and, and for about 20 days, he was on the job and involved in trying to help people not only in his city but out in the rural area. The Office of Emergency Management was the one that we had to go through to get all the resources. I don't know if they ever went home two or three days, but anyway, I want to mention them. The uh, Senator Jason Raper, we had some folks got electricity cut off. Jason worked with them to get electricity back on and wanting any resource we needed, he was willing to try to help go to bat for it. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. I, I really don't know what we would have done without them. They, they were on the job and to get a government worker to work all night long, it's nearly a miracle. But they were there and they stayed with us. City of Conway, the best partner we've got and will ever have. But even the, the airport being open where we could use it for a staging area. We need to note and appreciate that. And, we, we were not deterred by having a place to, to do our staging. The uh, Arkansas Department of Corrections sent inmates here, bus loads of inmates here for 10 days in a row, filling sandbags that people, the public could get and all, and it should be noted that support for Faulkner County. I wanna also tell folks right now that United Way is the place if you wanna donate Money, items, our time, United Way is trying to help us coordinate the relief effort and the cleanup. And for, it, it's, we done shifted mode. We, we stopped fighting the flood. We're now trying to help folks clean up. So it's a big task ahead of us. I think my part, Faulkner County is a great place to live and I'm proud I live here. Absolutely. And not to, um, uh, I've got a lot of law enforcement that I also would like to thank. Um, and Judge Chief Woods that down in Mayflower, and Chief Hutchison uh, that's here in uh, uh, north of us. 
uh, man, they did such an awesome job, and I watched them daily, and they really put the work and the effort out. It seemed like they were out 24-7 during all this, so uh, my hat and praise is off to those guys for sure. Uh, you know what, starting out with uh, the judge's office, and the mayor's office and the sheriff's office, we had a communication that began at the very beginning of this thing. And that was a, that's what orchestrated some quick responses throughout the state and throughout the county uh, to be able to do the things that was accomplished uh, in helping people in, in, in their safety. Um, you know, for, uh, right off the bat, uh, we called out uh, one of uh, my reserve deputies. I uh, have numerous reserve deputies, my patrol deputies, my criminal investigation division. We actually had people from our detention office, uh, our detention uh, centers that came out. We had dispatchers, uh, sandbagging. Um, they, it was just a great effort by the Faulkner County Sheriff's Department. And that wasn't me, that was the personnel that we have that, uh, um, employed at the Sheriff's Department. But outside that, we also had the Army National Guard was our next step. And man, when we called them, and, uh, and we had requested that. It was within a 24 hour period. We were able to replace a lot of our manpower and play, replace some of these barricades with the National Guard. My hat's off to them and uh, the lieutenants that was running the, the program. Uh, I thank them and, and, and uh, the lieutenant colonel that was over it all. So thank you guys. Arkansas State Police, they were spot on. They were hands on. They were sending troopers from all over the state of Arkansas. The highway police was also doing the same thing. Uh, the Arkansas State Police, uh, Captain Mike Hager, uh, was in charge of this region and, and this particular flood and did an awesome job. So all of that support, and again, my hat's off, and I thank them. And I tell you what, as we traveled around the county, it wasn't just us, but it was also the citizens of this county that was joining arms and joining hands and supporting one another in their own neighborhoods. And uh, you're talking about something that will really uh, put chills on your, on your um, arms. That is it's one thing to see, the camaraderie within our community. That's why I also love Faulkner County. And there's two folks I have to call by name, and I'm calling them by name because they remind me of the Energizer Bunny, and I think these two guys will agree with me. And I'm taking this, I'm saying this to you two guys because you're, you're standing up for us old guys. Mark Ledbetter, I have yep. never seen anybody that could outwork Mark Ledbetter. Tom Anderson's a very close second place. But those two guys, you know, I just I don't know that they ever slowed down. But I don't think I think any of us can say enough. But again, thank you all. And uh, one more day. thing, Mayor, let's thank all the volunteers. Hell, they they stepped forward from all over this area to help and assist. And I also want to thank the private landowners that let us access their land to get folks out of arms way that were trapped. And, and it's a yep. it's a big deal undertaking. I know of three that really came to it and, and let folks get out that were trapped. And I want to say thank you to those folks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks.